keep work uh, every day and then until we get there. You know, it's a, it's a long journey. Okay, cheers, my friend. Cheers. <laughs> Even without his house. To keep things going, uh, <laughs> you <Yeah>. know. <laughs> Karma Sherpa still wants to be a good host. We just have a good time uh, and then good moment and then share something. <laughs> In the middle of the Marshall Fire Zone, he pours tea, a tradition from his home country, Nepal with the hope that one day he can share it inside his rebuilt house in the Sagamore neighborhood. The physical structure is, needs to build up, but, but that, will, that will come long. But nearly a year later, his lot is still just a pile of dirt. While some neighboring homes already have construction well underway. I was hoping uh, to put the foundation by end of October. But an insurance shortfall of nearly $200,000 delayed the process, leaving his wife Dafuti and their kids wondering, why not us? But it didn't happen and then it's, now it's really cold. Too cold to break ground without increasing costs. We need the money to build a house. Ten months after the fire, building plans were finally made and the Sherpa said they eventually reached an agreement with their insurance to cover the needed costs. So yeah, it took a little while, longer than we expected. Uh, and then finally they are doing the right thing and I think. The right thing. This is a living room, this is a kitchen. To make them whole again. Now we have a more clear picture that we get to build the house. Just like their neighbors. A lot of houses popping up, that's a good thing just like the thousand others who lost their homes on December 30, 2021. The fire was <laughs> burning right here. One year later, Dafuri doesn't think about the home that was destroyed. She thinks about something more important she lost three months after the fire. I lost my dad, so I think more about my anniversary of my dad. There are uh, some challenging day and then some tiring day, but then we just have to deal with that and keep moving forward. Forward with a dream that one year from now. Then this area is going to be the kitchen and dining room. They can serve tea at home. I hope so, but I don't know. And then there's always surprises come up. A toast to no more surprises. I hope that everybody's back in their own house by this time next year. With photojournalist Tom Cole, Nelson Garcia, Nine News.